Speaking of ancient science fiction, no, I'm just kidding, but 1994, Mia Sara, Jean-Claude Van Damme, another action hero from the late 80s to the 90s. This is Time Cop. I have to agree with the number of critics online that say Time Cop is probably Van Damme's best movie. Not the one that first propelled him to stardom. He was in a lot of stuff in the era. Often felt like he would have been a lot bigger had he not lived at the same time as, as Schwarzenegger. Stallone was still around doing stuff. He, he had the potential to be the, the young one of them going into the 90s, but he wasn't that much younger than them and really was gobbling up films that were in that in that wheelhouse, in that genre, that men like that would be doing. But Van Damme is a good example of one of those guys that is not a fabulous actor, but he has the martial arts ability to be the action hero. He's got the, the, the build and the physique. And it's not that he's a bad actor. And in fact, Time Cop is probably his best film for that reason. Playing himself in two different time periods he really does a much better job of comparing mature him in the film to immature him in the film. Him a decade in the future and him a decade earlier in the past. He does a really good job of being both of those figures and them weaving it together. Not that it's a super complicated story with a ton of emotional moments, but there's enough when finding out about his, his wife's pregnancy, about having lost his wife in one version of the time loop, and I won't spoil it for you, but he really does get an opportunity to do a lot of acting. From a science fiction level, I feel like I really missed out by not seeing it till yesterday because I did not watch it in the 90s. I did not watch it until yesterday. And because of that, the science has progressed. You know, like the more we, we learn or think that we know about things from quantum physics related to time and the fluidity of time and alternate realities and quantum realities and par different parallel outcomes, it really makes it hard to go back and watch time travel shows. I mean, even great Star Trek episodes like The City on the Edge of Forever, the idea that they would go back and be involved in that and it not create all sorts of chaos with the timeline is not something you would make today. You wouldn't make it in that fashion. Time Cop kind of suffers from this. You go back in time and you're coexisting at the, at the same time as your self and you're on the property and you're having a battle and you're helping yourself, but you can't touch yourself. And to think that that had no effect in a very linear way from you being there younger and you there older fighting each other. And they kind of touch on it when the bad guy suddenly, well, some of the details will suddenly transpose and it's because they've affected the timeline. In that respect, it's really well thought out, but it's thought out through this very limited, narrow lens. And again, it goes back to if you're telling this story, people going back in time to manipulate the future for their own ends, you're trapped into a certain understanding of time travel that makes that story plausible, because otherwise, all you're doing is causing reality to splinter and parallel universes to spin off. and all of the, th the ways that we would write it now would be different. Trying to create an alternate reality for yourself to stay in might make sense, but going back in time to steal the Confederate gold and bring it to the future and then spend it, it's sort of kind of silly. But ultimately, it's a very good movie. It flows really well. There's a little bit of confusion when he keeps coming back to the present and things are different, but that again shows the care they took to think it through as well as they could to give us a film that was consistent, at least within that understanding of time travel and how it unfolds. Not exactly something I would watch over and over again, but it really does a good job of telling its story. And it, and it is, from a purely acting standpoint, this would be Van Damme's best.